Information changes situations. Welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets Monday Edition. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the 10-year rule. Basically, the 10-year rule is where if it's not gonna matter in 10 years or if it won't be around in 10 years, don't worry about it. Don't get fixated about it. Okay? I'll copy things in version. I'll talk about that later in the video. But like Dwight D. Eisenhower said, he said, what's urgent is not important and what's important is also not urgent, okay? So I want you to hear that again. What's urgent is oftentimes not important and what's important is oftentimes not urgent. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. If you're enjoying this content, continue to watch. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. Thanks. After everything is said and done, more will be said than done, okay? Basically, to explain the 10-year rule again, after all is said and done, the only thing that's gonna remain are your memories, your knowledge, and your family, okay? At the end of the day, all you really have is family and the things you acquire in your mind and your spirit, okay? That's what I mean by the 10-year rule, okay? So you wanna focus on during this time of creating just the best memories possible, okay? And as they say, you know, memories are good, but a person should have more dreams than memories, okay? Especially if you're self-employed, you have a dream of creating wealth for yourself and your family, you know? Whether you have a, a lawn, a landscaping company, or you could have be a mechanic, or you could be a street sweeper, or self-employed street sweeper, whatever the case may be, self-employed shoe shiner, okay? You probably started the business with the hopes of helping your family create a nice chunk of wealth for you and yourself, and maybe helping impact the people's lives, okay? You focus on that, instead of focusing on, okay, the money, focus on helping people, and having a meaningful existence will help you, okay? But as they say, you should have more dreams and memories, but you should also know that discipline, the willingness to do unpleasant things is the bridge between goals and accomplishments, or it's the bridge between dreams and accomplishments, okay? These things can come to life, but remember that at the end of the day, memories, family, and knowledge is all that's gonna be left after all of your work, okay? So just keep that in mind. This is resonating with you, continue to watch. I appreciate you, okay, bye. Remember guys, no matter what you accumulate, a nice house, a lot of money in your bank account, a lot of followers on social media, whatever, TikTok, that at the end of the day, it's all gonna be gone. This is the essence of the 10 year rule, knowing that in the long term, what's gonna matter, okay? I'll say another thing that a lot of times is temporary, that friends and feelings are often temporary, okay? The word friend has the word end in it. If you worry about a friendship, boyfriend, girlfriend, odds are 10 years from now, they may not be around, okay? You may end up getting lucky and be with the person that's gonna be around 10 years from now. Most people are not. Most people, the job you're working, you're at, the clients you currently have right now, you won't have 10 years from now. So I just wanna give you peace, okay? When you're stressed and worried about what might happen in the future or what might not happen, just think about the 10-year rule, okay? And stay motivated and know that you can do it. So don't get caught up in the urgent. Don't get caught up in answering emails immediately, emails that don't matter, or arguments that don't matter. Um, and you know what I'm talking about, that happen at probably every office in the country, okay? Or satisfying your fleshly desires, oh, I'm hungry, I gotta go to the bathroom. A lot of times those desires are urgent, okay? They don't need to be, okay? And also, I wanna say this, instead of watching the clock, we should be like the clock and continue just to move forward, okay? Because I, if you apply this 10 year old, you will find yourself having a whole lot more peace and joy in life, okay? Have more fun, okay? And understand that almost everything in life is temporary, even the bad stuff, okay? So don't give up, keep going. And knowing that you're building towards things that matter, okay? Build towards things that matter, build towards things that are gonna be around 10 years from now, okay? Real quick, story time Monday, I wanna share a story back when I moved to, uh, moved here to Seattle. I don't mind my shadow. <laughs> when I moved here to Seattle, I didn't bring all my stuff with me. I was gonna go back to Atlanta and get my stuff. This is bringing the 10 year rule into perspective in the real life. I'll, I'll go back in a few months and get it. I moved out here September 2017. The guy who was storing my stuff called me and said there was a huge, there was a terrible storm in Atlanta and all my stuff got lost. I lost nice clothes, nice shoes, a bunch of possessions. And made me realize that, hey, you know, in 10 years time, that stuff did not matter. I remember there was a really nice polo I wanted that I had lost, and so I lost a whole bunch of stuff, okay? And that's what I mean by the 10-year rule does not matter. Big storm took out all my possessions. The big storm took out all your possessions, God forbid. But this stuff happens, okay? So focus on what's gonna matter 10 years from now. Your knowledge, your memories, your family, okay? And let the rest of it take care of itself. Don't worry, it'll be all right. Okay, thank you so much, bye.
And lastly, as always, unsuccessful people that make decisions based on their current circumstances. Oh man, this super urgent thing is gonna take up my day. I gotta fold laundry, I gotta take up the dishes. But then you realize that in hindsight, as time goes by, that stuff really wasn't all that important in the moment. You just thought it was, okay? The thing that screams out loud doesn't mean it's the most important, okay? And lastly, as always, successful people that make decisions based on where they wanna be, okay? Make decisions based on where you wanna be, understand that in 10 years, you're gonna be somewhere. Make sure you end up there, okay? Bye.